Veterans Day is this Friday and you have the opportunity to help those who have served and those who are currently serving. Erin Connolly, the Director of Communications, along with Pinto from Freedom Service Dogs is here with more information. Erin, it's so good to see you. Oh, good to see you. Yes, I <laughs> loved the doggy push-ups we saw earlier. Very impressive. Yes, he's been working on those. Oh, well, he's <laughs> doing a great job, better than I can do on any human push-ups. Okay, so how does Freedom Service Dogs make a difference for veterans out there? Well, we partner veterans and active duty military with custom trained service dogs mm -hmm. that are trained to meet their unique needs. So depending on what their disability is, whether it's PTSD or perhaps some physical disabilities, each dog is custom trained to meet the, the needs of that unique individual. So incredible. And I've seen the work that you've done with veterans and with just people around the country. And it is just so impressive what you guys can do. And, you know, dogs like Pinto here are just so well trained to be able to help with exactly what they need, which is so great. So what services and support do you offer to a lot of these veterans? So we provide these dogs um, that, and that are custom trained from the time that they are born. We are working with them to help set them up on the right paw so that they can be mm -hmm. successful service dogs. So all said and done, that's usually about 18 months of training. Wow. And then once they're ready to be matched with someone, we also provide the training to that person because they need to come in and learn how to work with the dog and learn how to communicate with them so that they can be partners. Yeah. We also provide a lifetime of support. So throughout the working life of the dog, we make sure that we're there to support any additional training that's needed. Oh. And then when it's time for the dog to retire, we help with that transition and we help the veteran to get a new service dog and then they can keep their retired service dog uh, and also have a new one that can help them and make sure that they don't have to go without a service dog by their side. Wow, that is incredibly impressive. Look at Pinto's sweet face too. I was watching him watching you and, and taking your commands and he is just so ready to help. He is just so incredible. So does this cost anything for the recipients, for the veterans that need these dogs? It's completely free of charge, wow. which is, you know, incredible and we're really happy Happy that we're able to do that. We're a nonprofit, mm -hmm. and so we fundraise in order to be able to provide these dogs free of charge. Wow, that is so incredible. So the work that you've done, obviously you've been with the organization for a few years. We've been able to work with you for those years, which is so incredible, Erin. Have you seen a lot of people, a lot of veterans coming in and just being so ecstatic and so happy to get their service dog? Oh, absolutely, you know, and the more that they have their dog by their side, the more that they will come back to us and say, this dog has really changed my life for the better. Yeah. Uh, where they were feeling really isolated, not wanting to get out in public or connect with their family and friends. And now they're doing those things and they're regaining, you know, the independence that they lost because of their disability. So it's it's amazing to hear those stories. Yes, and for those viewers at home that are hearing that thumping noise, that's Pinto's little tail. Yes, you, you sweet boy. He is just as excited, it seems like, to be able to help out. He's oh, so yeah. happy. He I loves love to it. work. He's happy to work. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, how can the folks at home help out, too, is there anything that we can do? Well, there's a lot of different ways. Of course, because we're a nonprofit, donations are always very much appreciated. Yes and uh, donations can be made online. Mm -hmm. And then also we have a lot of volunteer opportunities. Anything from being a puppy raiser where you have a puppy like Pinto in your home yes. for about 10 months. So that's a very dedicated volunteer job. But we also have a lot of volunteer opportunities at our facility wow. where you can help out anywhere from helping in our nursery with our tiny puppies oh. or helping the adult yeah. dogs that are in training to get enrichment, get their exercise. And then there's also things like special events. Uh, we always need volunteers to help out with our events or if you like to do administrative type work yeah. um, you know organizing our data there's all kinds of things <laughs> so many different ways to get involved we're always looking for volunteers incredible there's so many ways to help that's so great so what should we do if we think a loved one or someone we know or even you know someone at home could benefit from a, from a service dog absolutely we have a lot of information on our website at freedomservicedogs.org so that's a good place to start you can also give us a call at 303 922 Two six two three one, and we'd be happy to answer any questions and just get you started in the process to see if Freedom Service Dogs might be a good fit for you. Excellent. Well, Erin, in the last about 45 to 30 seconds or so, I would love for you to show us again some of these puppy, pu these doggy <laughs> push-ups because, Pinto. of course, Pinto is just so good at it. Sure. We can right. stand, too, if we so must. Sorry, yes. cameras, sit. we must adjust a little. Down. <laughs> sit. Come. Sit. Yes. Oh. Down. Sit. Wow. Oh boy. <laughs> because he's been doing it for a while, I'm not giving him a treat every single time. Yes. He knows what he's doing. Wow. Down. Sit. 
Oh, he wants to roll over. Oh, he's like, I'm almost there. Come in. Oh, sweet. Boy. Yes, he that's a good boy. So good. Oh, my goodness. Well, Aaron, he's so impressive. You know, before we go to, if someone does see a dog in training out, this is always a question I have. What do we do? Can we approach? How do we, you know, make sure that we're doing everything properly? Well, I'm glad you asked that. And really, the best thing to do, it may sound strange, but the best thing to do is nothing. Okay. And I know it's so tempting yeah. because dogs are adorable. <laughs> you want to pet them. You want to ask to pet them, all of those things. Right. But if you can just admire them from afar, mm -hmm. and as, as we like to say, love them with your eyes only. Yes. And just remember that their handler is is potentially working with the dog and that the dog, even if it may not seem like they're doing their job in that moment, they really are doing an important job for right. that person. Yes. And just to be respectful of that. Yep. Um, and if you are going to interact, interact with the person. Right. And, you know, treat them with kindness and respect instead of with the dog because the dog is doing their job. Excellent. Aaron, thank you so much. Pinto, good boy. <laughs> he did so well. You guys, to volunteer or to make a donation to Freedom Service Dogs or if you think someone could benefit from their services, visit freedomservicedogs.org or call them 303-922-6231.